I need to buy myself off the deep web before somebody else does. I don't know how much time I have. I saw the offer hours ago. The only thing I can do now is tell you how I happened upon it myself. It's stupid, really. Really, really stupid. I was trying to impress my friends. We were all enrolled in IT class at our school. We would take turns seeing who could bring up the most screwed up website. It started out by showing our friends websites on the deep web that people could buy drugs from. Drugs that we had never heard of. That got boring really quick. Other friends began upping their content to try and stand out in our game of I'm more tech savvy than you. They would bring more and more pictures, each more disturbing and gruesome than the last. Pictures of people dying, of people being tortured and unimaginable things. People that were already dead. One person brought up a very nefarious sight, PC. Instead of people saying exactly how screwed up this was, and how this should all stop, and how this should have never have begun in the first place, and how stupid it was, and how much danger we were all in, they congratulated her, gave her a pat on the back, and asked her how she could even sit down properly in a computer chair because of how big her balls were. I felt like puking. I felt like beating the ever-loving crap out of everybody. And I couldn't believe how screwed up it was to see all that disgusting stuff on the internet and see it as an accomplishment. I didn't say anything though. They began to notice that I never showed off anything myself. And I began to get a new nickname at school. School became a living hell for me. My friends began shoving these horrible pictures in my face whenever they could. When I cried and vomited, they claimed they were trying to desensitize me. Everything became too much though. I promised myself I wouldn't venture too deep. That I would only stay long enough to find something that would appease them. At this point, we were long past the point of finding cool drugs and stuff. I knew I had to find something that would hold importance. At this point, I had been on the deep web for three hours. Five hours was what it took to put an offer for me on the deep web. At one point, I remember opening a seemingly blank page. Immediately, the light next to my computer flashed, briefly. I minimised the browser to close photo booth, only to find that it wasn't open, and I didn't think anything of it. I was tired and had school the next day. So, bored, I closed everything down and went to sleep. The next few days went the same, until the last. When I walked in, everyone was huddled around one desk, talking in hushed voices. A few of the girls were crying, and all of them were pale and covered in sweat. I didn't want to see whatever had caused this reaction. Nobody noticed I'd walked in, until class had started. I caught several of them staring at me during the class. They had probably planned a new way to make me go home sobbing. I had tried to leave the class as quickly as I could, but one of them caught me by the shoulder and spun me around. We need to talk. His voice was quivering, and his clammy, trembling hands were soaking through my t-shirt. He led me to the back of the classroom where other students in the same shape as him, or worse, were huddled. He began passing out pictures. When it was my turn, I told him that I didn't want to see whatever they had. No, you have to see this. Something about the way he said it told me that it was serious, and it wasn't just regular bully. I cracked open one eye. I saw some girl on the paper along with some sort of description and a price. I opened my eyes further, and saw that it was an ad of some sort. I thought, 
Oh, this isn't that bad. It hadn't fully hit me yet, until I read what sort of description it was. Hi, it's me again. Back with some more for you guys. This one looks fairly young, with a bit of extra weight on her. I don't know, I need to get more pictures. I think it was her first time here. She wasn't protected at all, and it was easy enough. But enough about that. For now, her starting price is $118,000. We'll go up and down whenever we get more pictures and do the physical inspection. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. There was a picture of me, staring at my computer intently. I had no social media. The only pictures of me were the ones I had taken with a group, and there were so many emotions swirling through me. One that stood above all was confusion. The crippling fear was lurking in the shadows for now. How had this person gotten this picture of me? My mind went back to the light next to my camera, and one question was answered. Next, the paralysing fear set in. I felt my heart stop completely, then beat violently in my throat and ears. My stomach dropped. My eyes searched furiously over the paper for any information about me. I felt relief at the fact that my full name, along with my address, weren't there. That all came crashing down, when I realised that the person who had posted the ad had these, but chose not to put them in the description in case anyone were to grab me without pain. I knew without a doubt that the others were going to be sold, too. I passed out. I woke up in the nurse's office, who told me I had a fever, and my mother picked me up and took me home. I went straight into my room and locked the door. I haven't touched my PC ever since. I put tape over my phone camera, even though I know my efforts are futile. Everything I hear now is someone out to get me. The only sick thing that comforts me every now and then, is that the people that made me do this are going to be sold quicker than me.